Hey guys, hey, welcome to another episode of the Film Life Vlog. Hey, I'm so glad you guys joined me. So recently I was on eBay, uh, just just poking around, looking at, up stuff, and I came across this strange looking camera. I was like, wait a second, I've never seen or heard of of this type of uh, cameras before. I felt the same way that I did when I first heard about half frame cameras. I was like, wow, that's really cool. And this was the Nikonis 2 camera. This is so cool. I'm not a diver. I can swim, but I'm not a diver by any chance. But being a collector of film cameras, my uh, interest level went right straight uh, through the roof. We need must have the pressure. And uh, so I decided to uh, to get one of those cameras. So finally, this camera has arrived, and now I'm going to do the unboxing of this camera. I'm curious to find out what it's gonna be like, how it's gonna look like. So let's do the unboxing right now. That looks really. Really nice. And that's the Nikonis 2 camera. It feels really heavy. Really heavy. And it feels like it's made out of of metal with a really rough coating of like some form of a plastic on it but it just feels like this is made out of cast iron really heavy I love it let's check out the lens oh that is that is really nice look at that beautiful lens this feels really good guys have to figure out what this one is for as well. There's some form of a lens attachment. There's so much to learn. That's why I find this stuff really exciting. <laughs> On a personal level, I just love to learn. And uh, with my interest being film photography, I j this is really my bread and butter, guys. I just love getting these cameras and learning about the, the, the technology, the device. But this is going to require some cleaning up for me. There's so much to learn guys, so much to learn. I'm just pleased that the lens doesn't have any fungus in it. And this also comes with some manuals. The original manual. Instruction manual, some purchase documents, I guess, specs in French. So let's see what's in this bag. In this bag here, ooh, okay. <laughs> so much to figure out, guys. It obviously comes with a strap as well. Nice leather strap. Not too shabby. And that's really all there is. And now to explore a bit more on the features of this camera. 
And by the way, I just got a purchase on my website, which is filmphoto.net. And this lovely camera is going to a buyer from Ontario. So I'm using the same box that came with an Iconis. Recycling, reuse, recycle guys. And I'm going to be shipping this beautiful camera with the same box that um, came with an Iconis. So yeah, look at this beautiful camera. And this is the Polaroid Cool Cam. It's in mint condition. Someone just bought it on my website for $80. It works really well. Tested it and now shipping it. The thing about you guys purchasing from my website is that I always make sure that the cameras work. And if there's something wrong with the cameras, I'll let you know in the description. So you have the advantage of a film nerd like myself checking these cameras to make sure they work before they come to you. And that's why it's a good idea to shop on filmphoto.net. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Just a little message to the buyer. Just spray the cloth. I try to stay away from the glass. Look at this beauty. Now look at this beauty guys. Look at this beautiful camera. Okay, so this is the Nikonis 2 camera. Look at this beautiful camera guys. This is such a lovely, lovely camera. I'm so impressed after I've cleaned this, it just looks quite nice. It looks quite beautiful. I'm so impressed with the build quality of this camera. I mean, this thing is really built like a tank. This is like the most heavy duty camera that I've ever played with, ever. And I've played with some really heavy duty cameras like um, the Nikomat, for example, or even the, the Russian uh, cameras. Some of them are really, really heavy. But this one here, I think this one takes the cake, even though it feels, it doesn't seem to be too big. Uh, at least for my hand, I have pretty big hands, but it doesn't seem to be too big. Um, but it does feel super heavy for its size. So some basic operations of this camera. And Now you may ask me, why am I getting a camera like this? The good thing about a camera like this, guys, is that you can actually use this camera as a weather sealed, all weather camera. In the rain, I can shoot images with a camera like this. I can shoot film images even in the rain or in the snow, and it's pretty hardy. This thing is also, at the very least, waterproof as well. So it's quite some practical use for a camera like this even though you may not be a diver and that's why I got this camera. Now I do anticipate that I will be um, shooting with this camera for a bit. I think I'm gonna have this in my collection probably for a long time. I don't intend to sell this particular one. Hey so thanks so much for joining me on this episode of a vlog guys. I really appreciate everyone that has been supporting this channel ever since I started sharing my interests in film photography. You guys have been so awesome and I want to thank you. So until the next time guys I hope you have a wonderful day and as always stay safe.